Okay? How are you, by nominating us, going to continue that good faith? You have four other targets you can choose. Choose them, your game progresses. You don't choose them, you have three pissed off people who have now eliminated their other targets, and we all focus on one person. You cannot defend yourself, and you have no one else here that can defend you. Right. So if you'd like, I'll go get your suitcase now. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I like your style this morning. Yeah. <laughs> this is my style last year. It's just me against all y'all, though. No, it's, it's, it's all about everyone here wants something. It's just you have to rationalize. It's just like when I was like interrogating people. You have to find their weakness, whether it's family, monetary. Dog, or husband. Dog, husband, exactly. And you have to use that against them. Is it cruel? Yes, but it's all on how you, it's all on how you present it to them. You go in there, you fucking bitch, you put me up, pack your bags, bitch. No, that <laughs> creates enemies and that that creates enemies and that also shows everybody else in the house that you are irrational and a fucking whack job. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and we cannot have that right now because right now we've been playing good. Everybody here knows that we're people of our word. Even me people are trusting. Can you believe it? Trust me. It's because of the way that we've played. If we take out someone who is a potential ally to us, the other potential allies think they're next. Chilltown's been living up here. They hang out with you in the yard. They took Kaser's strategy from week two and blew it up. What strategy? Of trying to create the dissension amongst the house. But now the house sees Chilltown breezing through each week when they actively campaign against us. The dissension is being created from within here. Oh, she's going to pussy footing around. Pussy footing around. Get rid of the real target. Get rid of the real target. He came in here. It was like pussy footing. I thought that was hilarious. It took a lot of balls even to come here. No, that wasn't balls. That was pure brazen stupidity. I'm like, Allison, Nicole, real targets. We're really messing up here, pal. And Doctor Bruce on the block. Quit pussy footing around. I mean, I may be dumb, but I'm not incompetent. Maybe a tad slow. But Maybe a tad slow, but I'm not incompetent. Sorry. I'm slow. That's why I didn't get it. Right. But um, every week, our strategy is based on what they're going to do to everyone else. If they're not here, our strategy can be based on an individual basis, depending on who might be fortunate enough to have an HOH fall in their lap. We can work with them. We can't work with them. Right. If they get an HOH, that is their uniting front to bring everyone else together and kick us the fuck out. They have nothing. They have nothing to lose. They have nothing to lose and everything to gain. They've been decimated. Anyone that they could be an ally with is gone. They tried to rally troops earlier. They couldn't. They made enemies. They just gotta go. This deal. I was able to convince the nerd herd to save me and put up Kaser. I mean, come on. It's the same type of psychological bullshit. Yeah. You, got, you guys were able to be convinced that I was your real enemy, when in reality I wasn't. We cannot follow our mistakes of the past. We have to find who the real enemy is. We know who they are because they tell us every day of the week. Yeah. Did anyone think... I'm after you, Jamie. I'm going after you, Jamie. I wouldn't even hire that... I don't even think I'd hire that bitch to work in my club. Okay. She, just, she was just on the yard an hour ago, and she goes, Well, Boogie, why do you keep saying you're coming after me? <laughs> because he is. You know, it's, it's your HOH. I think you have three people that right now are here to support you, you know, and we have to, last last week, all the heated discussion, because of them, you know, all this dissension between us, me thinking Kaser's fucking hooking up with them, you know, the Janelle, Marcel, so James and Danielle, now Diane, it's like, they are the contributors to all of this. They are Maggie to a billionth level. They're not as fat as Maggie. <laughs> Come on. They're better looking than Maggie, too. They got bigger penises than Maggie. No, <laughs> Maggie was huge. That bitch was hung down to here. Really? <laughs> Maggie was just <laughs> <laughs> That was good. You find this. You're you got it all. You're playing outside of the DR. You're playing, you know, smarter. Maggie was sharp in her penis. <laughs> you guys got to remember, I'm still the evil one on TV. Right. Julie Chan was like, so James, why'd you push George down the stairs and jump on his body? You know what you said? Well, you, no. What did she say to you? Um, she asked me about, um, okay. she's like, no, she didn't ask me about you guys. Well, she asked me one question about you guys. Um, she asked me about you guys. The first question was about Jace, about about backdooring him. 
and I didn't want to she go use into, a turn back door. Yes, yeah, use a turn back door. But I didn't want to use all the technical things because this is how I realized they're spinning me to be the bad guy and him to be the good guy. Oh, because really? It's like, what do you think about you know back door?